Uh, it, it, the, and it, certainly the initial half of the year will be very much a reaction to the finale and things that occurred there, you know. Um, the other thing I always sort of say is that Oliver's journey is very much the central journey, obviously, of the show. And his journey this year is... is the whole arc of the series is very much him going from vigilante to the Green Arrow that we all know, you know, which is a very different character than we introduced last year. And so uh, this is the second leg of that. And so it's it's a, a marked turn from wanting to be a vigilante to wanting to be a hero. And I think, uh, and then everybody sort of, their own stories kind of follow suit. Yes, and that, and this year uh, we deal with that very thought and concept. Yeah, I mean, the only way to sort of deal with that kind of stuff is to, I think, dramatize it and deal with it head on. And so uh, we deal with those things this year. Well, that was interesting because, you know, people obviously brought a lot of that up this summer. And, you know, I remember when we pitched Arrow and the, one of the first beats we pitched in it was, you know, he was kidnapped and we didn't know by who and he escapes and he snaps a guy's neck. And everybody in the pitch went, whoa, 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 what happens? I'm sorry. You know, we said, no, no, he snaps a guy's neck. You know, he's, he's a prisoner of war. He's back from an island. And, you know, that was the darkness that we wanted to add to the show. And that doesn't leave the show. You know, it's one of the interesting things we're able to do, obviously, is in accordance with what we're showing in real time, we're also showing the flashbacks of the island. And so you're sort of seeing him become more and more of a prisoner of war or monster, however you want to sort of say that he had to become on the island to survive, he's hopefully becoming, I think, more human again here. Uh, and, and so we play with that a little bit this year. Our, our intention was always to start however many feet back from the comic book and then to work our way toward it. Um, sometimes I think it'll be two steps forward, one step back, and I think people may say, oh, wait a second, you turned him this way again, now you're turning him back that way, what are you doing, you know? And hopefully we, we twist and turn enough to keep everybody engaged and interested. Uh, so, I, I mean, there's definitely choices we make on the show that are in response to things that we see or that are working or not working that I think we're, the fans are sort of experiencing the same thing. That wouldn't be one of them, I don't think. He's very much involved in this season. I mean, everyone obviously brings something cool. I mean, he has a depth and a weight and a intensity. You know, we, we looked for a long time to find someone to play that character, you know, to play Slade with the mask off. And we're very much showing his origin story at the same time, too, right? Because he's not yet the character, the Deathstroke that we know in the comic books. Um, and so, uh, I mean, he, he has that fire inside him, which hopefully this year we're, we're able to do some cool stuff with. I mean, the thing I always say, uh, yes and no. I mean, I think they're obviously very cautious about how they do that, and that's more their decision than it is ours. But we do feel the weight and the responsibility and the excitement of being sort of the DC Universe on television, you know? And, uh, you know, and so um, I think probably in that regard, as the show, hopefully as the show continues to live and has life, that there'll be even more and more ties between those two worlds. I, I, you know, I mean, I think at some point, you know, uh, it'd be great to be able to do something like that. We have no, we have no plans at this point to do that. We are bringing in some more DC characters this year, uh, just like we did with you know some of the characters from last year, um, and so uh, I th we're I think today we're dropping a whole bunch of them. So uh, you know, well we won't have Black Canary yet. You know that was a little bit of a thing this week. People were sort of like, oh you're introducing Black Canary. We are introducing the beginning of the Black Canary storyline. But there's no one that will be, just like there's nobody on the show right now that's called Green Arrow, you know? Uh, there's an evolution to it that we'd hope to take, and we hope people sort of come and check out how we want to twist and turn it. But yes, we did that with Slade, obviously. We did it with Merlin. We'll do that again and again. That's sort of the, the fun of the show. Um, but we're very reverent, you know, all of us, about what our own experiences were with those comic books, and then also what we know what people, sort of how they read them now. Uh, and our hope is to sort of, you know, serve both audiences and, and both masters.